On this lesson, we're going to work on our first icon. So as I said on the previous lesson, my theme is going to be medical. So I want things that represent the medicine and the things that the doctors do. So first, I want to go with something that represents medicine. And I could do a pill or something, but I think that is already done a lot. So I'm going to go with a prescription bottle. So you can see that it's very geometrical. And it's going to help show how you can create an icon just like this. So I'm going to go to my shape tools and find my rectangle tool. And I like to click on this little triangle to detach the window so I can bring it close and access my shapes quicker. So I'm going to remove the fill and only go with the stroke with this color that I had already selected in advance. So now that I'm ready, I could simply click here and input the numbers. You remember that I set my units to pixels. So here I could type something like 50 by 60 and you're going to see that the shape has been created. But if you zoom in a little bit closer, you really see it's not really aligning with the grid. So we're going to go to window, stroke and find this window that is right here, stroke. Here you can increase or decrease, or decrease the weight. And here, as you can see, my points, oh, sorry, my, my units are in pixels, just as I said it on the previous lesson. So if I so go and select something like four, you can see that that is too thick and it's not looking nice. And another thing that you can see is that the stroke is on both sides of the line. So what I have to do is go here to align stroke and make sure that instead of center, I align it to either inside or outside. So it only goes to one side. So I'm going to go inside and you can see that that's done right there, but it still it's not working as I want. So I'm going to move my rectangle and make it a little bit bigger. So you can see that now it is snapping and now it's really getting what I want. So I have to change my weight to two to get one exact line. Remember that we have increments of two, so that's why that is working. So now if I go to my scale tool and double click on that one, I want to make sure that I don't check scale strokes and effects. That way if I scale my shapes, the stroke is going to be the same. So right now if I scale this, you see that nothing is changing. Make sure that you do this so that you don't have to worry to change back the weight several times. Also, you could use your align tools. Here I align to the center and position this bottle near my bottom line that I set as my guide. Here you can input the values. So for example, if I go to something wider like 60, to, seven, to 62, I can get something like this or 62 by 62 and just move it. Make sure that this is what the guide is for. You can see that if I go 62, because I'm going to have one pixel increment, it's not going to align with my grid. So if I want to do that, I should always do it in increments of two. So 64 by 60 is going to work fine. But if I were to use another number, it's not going to align with my grid and it's not going to work that well with my pixel perfection. You could set your grid lower to one pixel if you want, if you want some more detail. But for me, this is working fine. And I'm using my grid, remember, only as a reference. But as long as you don't make numbers that are not even or make some curves, everything should work fine for now. So I'm just moving around, creating the cap of my bottle. You can see that I can also create my rectangles by clicking and dragging. And because I, I selected that I could snap my shapes to the pixel grid, or to the, in this case, the, the grid, everything is snapping properly. So now you can see that if I zoom in and zoom out, everything is working well. So next I can create rectangles or lines, you're, you're going to see the difference. If I, if I make lines there, if I do lines, it's almost, you cannot make 
the um, stroke be on the inside because there's no inside or outside so sometimes it's better if you use rectangles instead of of lines that you would create with your pen tool or with the line segment tool so now here I'm going to create another rectangle to make a, a pack for my bottle And just as I said before, here I'm using rectangles. They are covering the exact line that I need instead of lines. So just pressing Alt and Shift while I drag them to create copies. Now that I have the tag, I could uh, center it a little bit. So let's move it around here. And I could bring them closer. Remember that I set my increments on my keyboard to one pixel, so that's why it is moving okay. And then finally, I'm going to put the lines here on the top of the cap. And again, the reason why this is not working is because the stroke was getting aligned to both sides. We want it on the inside or the outside, in this case the inside. And just press Ctrl D once I make one action to repeat it and fill the whole bottle. So with this we have finished our first icon, now if I go and press Ctrl Shift S, I can see a little preview right here, and you can see how that is getting right, and if I go here and make it bigger, let's say the 100, you can see that everything stays sharp. So in the next lesson, we're going to work on our next icon, so see you there.